Now, in the first part of the test, I'm going to ask you some questions about yourself. Do you understand? No, what, what do you mean? Okay, so uh, can you tell me your full name, please? That's private. Oh, do you have your ID on you? No. Oh, do you want to pass the IELTS test? Maybe. This is the speaking test for the International English Language Testing System held on 11th of May. The candidate name is... Moumin And my name is Saad. So, in the first part of the test, Moumin, I'm going to ask you some questions about yourself. Do you understand? I do understand. Okay, perfect. Let's talk about what you do. Do you work or are you a student? I am a lawyer mm -hmm. and a handball player. Okay. Do you enjoy your job? I do enjoy my job, yeah, and it's mm -hmm. something I love, it's mm -hmm. something I always wanted to do, Okay. and it's something I hope that I will continue doing in the future. Okay, so um, can you tell me about anything you would like to change about your job? I would like to change the environment where we work, mm -hmm. especially the courts, mm -hmm. the uh, like infrastructure, Okay. it's still like kind of old, mm -hmm. and it needs a lot of improvement. All right. Okay, so let's talk about things you share with others. Have you shared anything with others recently? I do share stuff. Mm -hmm. As I told you, I'm a handball player, so okay. we share uh, the equipment sometimes that mm -hmm. we uh, that we use. Sometimes okay. we even swap shirts, shorts, okay. and anything that we use for handball. Okay. So what kinds of things are not suitable for sharing? As my parents always told me, don't share your personal belongings. Mm -hmm. And there are private things that you shouldn't share with, with anyone. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. these kind of things, like such as your phone and even your ID card, your credit card, these kind of things that you shouldn't share. Okay. And um, other, other, other than that, it's That's fine amazing. to share. Okay, so did your parents teach you to share when you were a child? They always told me to share, yeah, especially uh -huh. food. They used to give me two sandwiches, one for uh -huh. me and one for my friend or uh -huh. anyone that was hungry and doesn't have a sandwich. It's like when you share time. It's like time, zeta, zata, right? Yes. Okay, amazing. Okay, so let's talk about hometown. Where is your hometown? I'm from Salt mm -hmm. in Jordan, and it's mm -hmm. my hometown. It's where I was born, and I've been living there for 23 years. Amazing. Okay, so what do you like about it? I like about it the uh, architecture. Mm -hmm. It's kind of it gives you like the ancient vibe. It's mm -hmm. full of old buildings, old roads. Mm -hmm. Even the shops they still have their kind of old uh, vibe. Mm -hmm. And this Amazing. is what I like the most about it. And also we can look at the um, like mountains. Mm -hmm. It has loads and loads of mountains. Okay. And cool. it's a green in the spring, so I think it's a, it's a beautiful place. And I, I love so it. is there anything you would, you don't like about uh, your hometown? If there's one thing, it's uh, like if you want to get some certain things, clothes mm -hmm. or even some kind of products, you're mm -hmm. really not going to find them in my city. Mm -hmm. So you have to come all the way to Amman and in, to just get those kind of things. Okay, so do you think you'll, you will continue living there? I think I will continue living there, yeah. Mm -hmm. As, especially because of it's near Amman, which is the mm -hmm. capital. So uh, sometimes like if you live in Amman, you want to go from a place to another, you're going to get stuck in the traffic. Mm -hmm. But in, in my in my city, we don't get stuck in traffic. There's not that like heavy traffic, I would say. Amazing. Thank you very much. All right. Now, let's move to part two, okay? Now, I'm going to give you a topic and I'd like you to talk about it for one to two minutes. Before you talk, you will have one minute to think about what you're going to say. Um, you can take notes if you wish. Do you understand? I do understand. Okay. So, here's some paper and a pencil and I'd like you to describe someone who cooked a special meal for you mm -hmm. okay okay I'll start the minute now okay okay time is up you can start speaking now yeah, the last time someone cooked something for me um, I mean I, I always love to make my own food mm -hmm. but lately I've been busy with work and it's been really difficult for me to make food mm -hmm. and also like I'm trying to eat at healthy as much as I can so I don't want to go to restaurants and buy food mm -hmm. so the last time someone made food to me it was my mom and uh, what was special about it that she understood that I am trying to eat healthy and I want to stay away from unhealthy stuff like fat and um, unhealthy food mm -hmm. um, so I was like telling her that she could try to make like food more healthier mm -hmm. so she went to YouTube and then she was searching for healthy uh, recipes and then she found that particular recipe was about chicken with uh, some veggies mm -hmm. it's more of a Chinese uh, recipe mm -hmm. and and she made that recipe for me and then when I came home from work 
She said, like, I made you something healthy. And I'm, for a minute, I thought she was kidding. Mm-hmm. And because uh, she always makes non healthy food, like, you know, that, you know, our Jordanian food is very unhealthy. Yes. Mm-hmm. And, and she literally made healthy food and it tasted good, even better than the one I make myself. Mm-hmm. And I felt, felt incredible, felt amazing, first of all, because that was her way of expressing love mm-hmm. to me by making me food the way I want it to be made. Mm-hmm. And um, I really enjoyed eating healthy food and at the same time food that tastes good, food that can be eaten. Because when I make food and I try to make it healthy, mm-hmm. um, there's like something they say, it, it, it looks more like, uh, like a dog's dinner than mm-hmm. a human dinner. That's what I when I make my healthy food. But like that healthy food was uh, eatable mm-hmm. and was tasty, mm-hmm. delicious. And I really enjoyed it. It was more than just food. It was my mom expressing love to me. By making me food I way, the way I wanted it, mm-hmm. and plus it's healthy, and I appreciate my mom for making that food. Thank you very much. Now moving to part three, okay? Last part on the list. Can I have them back? Yeah, of course. Okay, thank you very much. All right, we've been talking about someone who cooked a special meal for you, and I'd like to ask you some following up questions to that. Do you understand? Yeah, sure. Yeah, I do understand. Okay, so let's start with uh, unhealthy food. So why do many people buy unhealthy food? Yeah, first of all, like unhealthy food always comes from restaurants Mm -hmm. and they buy it because first of all, it tastes good. Mm -hmm. It's kind of a desirable food, something we desire because Mm -hmm. it tastes good. And second of all, I think it's because of time. It doesn't really take time to just Mm -hmm. buy food Mm -hmm. and also the price. So uh, like if you try to buy something healthy, it's going to be even double the price. Yes. So I think that's why most people go to restaurants and buy unhealthy food. Mm, I see. So how can the government encourage citizens to eat healthy food? I think mm-hmm. first of all by regulations. What I mean mm-hmm. by that is, um, first of all, mm-hmm. kind of force restaurants to sell healthy mm-hmm. menu next to the ordinary menu they have, the okay. normal menu, so they should have healthy menu. Mm-hmm. And the prices should be also limited. They should be also controlled because like, there aren't a lot of restaurants that make healthy food Mm -hmm. so when they make healthy food they try to kind of earn more than uh, when they when they sell normal food and i think they both Mm -hmm. cost the same even maybe healthy healthy food would cost even a little less oh yeah yeah okay regulation mainly cool so do you think children should help their parents prepare meals I think it is important for children to help the parents preparing Mm -hmm. food because this is the best way to learn how to make food and it's also gonna make them feel more independent so if mm-hmm. one day their parents are busy they can they're gonna make f- the food mm-hmm. themselves mm-hmm. so it's kind of gonna teach them the uh, independencies so they're gonna be more independent and it's also gonna um, also like encourage them to try to make things on their own as well okay so what do you think of fast food fast food i mean it's the easiest option to get if you're mm-hmm. hungry you just go for a restaurant and you go get uh, fast food mm-hmm. um it's called fast food because it made fast you know mm-hmm. yeah. and uh i think it should be i mean it should be fast food but even it should be like healthier than the way it's being made now mm. okay so what's a common meal in jordan uh, we have the traditional jordanian dish which mm-hmm. is called mensef mm-hmm. And this dish has been um, like has been uh, popular, mm-hmm. and it's been like the main, I would say, the main feature about mm-hmm. Jordanians. Mm-hmm. And it's a very delicious, also unique uh, mm-hmm. dish that you really can't find anything that looks like it in the world. Mm-hmm. And people can get a little bit uh, intense when it comes to that dish. So some people try to cr- mm-hmm. be creative and come up with ideas, mm-hmm. and they try to change uh, the, the like the way that this dish is being made, Mm. which kind of provokes people and makes people mad these days. Mm -hmm. Because for most Jordanians, Mm -hmm. it means more than just food. It means culture, identity, and they feel like Mm -hmm. it's something that shouldn't be uh, shouldn't be edited or something that shouldn't be messed with. Mm. I see. All right. Thank you very much. That's the end of the speaking test. Thank you. You're welcome. So guys, thank you very much for watching and try to learn all the vocabulary that we mentioned or used in this video and uh, don't forget to subscribe. And thank you for watching. I hope you can find this uh, video useful and you can learn from it and good luck in your test.